Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. In this video, we'll cover the flow control and the concepts of meter in versus meter out. At its most basic level, a flow control as used for controlling the speed of a hydraulic cylinder is often nothing more than a variable orifice in the form of a needle valve along with a return flow check valve. And the return flow check valve is usually built right into the same package as the needle valve. So the way we have this particular flow control plumbed in to the blind end of the cylinder, we are currently set up for a form of flow controlling called meter in. And the word meter in or the word meter out is not a reference to which direction the cylinder is traveling, but rather a reference to whether or not we are controlling the rate of flow as fluid enters the cylinder or as fluid is leaving the cylinder. So in this case, we are set up to meter the fluid as it enters the blind end of the cylinder. Fluid will not be able to pass through the check valve. Here we go. It's all working well in the first part of the cylinder's extension, but as you could see, as the load went over center, things got a little interesting. Now let's watch meter in flow controlling taking place on the line that feeds the rod end port. This will be meter in for the retracting of the cylinder. You could see that fluid is being metered on the bottom line and oil leaving the blind end port can do so freely through the return flow check valve mounted in parallel to the needle valve. Let's work forward and back again. Now, of course, what's special about this particular arrangement is that we've got a load that runs over center. That pendulum overrunning load is a handy one in these animations for understanding what the effects of a runaway load, sometimes referred to as a negative load on a cylinder, might do to various parameters of the hydraulic system. In this case, we could tell that not all is well with the meter in scenario. What we find out is that it's working well until the point at which the load goes over center and then the cylinder rod is being moved perhaps a little faster by the load running away than the pump and valve can supply to the cylinder and hence the very uneven motion that we're seeing and perhaps even the formation of some cavitation void in the cylinder. A very uneven motion with plenty of undesirable effects. So as you can see, meter in will work fairly well as long as there's no runaway effect. In fact, meter in will work best in the vertical position for extending the cylinder if you had gravity and a load opposing the extension of the cylinder. So quite often you hear us saying, if in doubt, meter out. Well, I'm gonna hit a little magic button here that's gonna change us around to meter out flow controlling. But all you need to do is keep an eye on these two check valves and see what happens. Do you see what happened? We switched to meter out plumbing arrangement for our flow controls and all that happened is both check valves have been reversed. So now let's have a look and see what happens. Well, it looks like now that we're metering the oil as it leaves the cylinder. Notice what's happening with the flow arrows. We're putting a pinch on the flow of the hydraulic oil as it's leaving the cylinder, and everything looks much better now. Now that there's a runaway type of load, perhaps our needle valve, if restricted sufficiently, could control what otherwise might be a very uneven motion. So that's the difference between meter in and meter out. But don't be in a rush to apply meter out to the rod end port. This particular meter out arrangement here can come at a pretty high price to the damage that it can cause in your hydraulic system. If this particular variable orifice, if this needle valve is pinched down too far during extension, believe it or not, if there isn't enough 
load for the cylinder to push on, and in this case we've even got a negative load, the load is running away with the rod, what can happen is an intensification of pressure between the rod and cylinder port and this particular needle valve, this particular line here, can become pressured to many multiples of what the pressure is on the back side of the cylinder. And exactly what that multiple or ratio is, is a function of the surface area difference between the back of the piston and the rod side piston, the annular or washer ring piston on the rod side. So that's a topic for another video, but keep in mind that meter out is not always a perfect scenario either. And really, whenever there's a runaway load, a flow control is a little overly simplistic. And in many cases, when you need to move the load quickly, a counterbalance valve is a much better choice. And of course, no risk to pressure intensification on the rod side, as long as that counterbalance valve has been chosen and specified correctly. So that's an introduction to meter in versus meter out flow controlling as used to control the speed of a cylinder. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.